Have you ever done this before? You don't know what it is, so you should probably explain it. Um, <laughs> I forgot that you can't telepathically read me yet. I mean, although the metaverse is coming, <laughs> have you heard a joke about that yet? Uh, so, yeah, well, what's happening is that the metaverse is... Oh, that's a different video. Oh, it looks like it's happening already. Uh, yeah, but, like, you're walking down the CBD and everybody just looks past you because you're dressed like, well, frankly, me. And then, one day, you, for reasons... It, I don't know, just kind of happens that way. All of a sudden, you just wound up in court, like, most of a year. And all of a sudden, you're walking through the city as somebody who could be going to jail, so almost a crim. And what happens? All of a sudden, the bitches are out for the day. Have you ever seen that? They throw that. They really do. As soon as you put on a tie, it's just like, oh, yeah, okay, well, um, I'm going to this party. I'm going to be in this back alley soon. Uh, would you like to know the details of when I'm most vulnerable? I can give you an entire checklist of that. It just seems like, and correct me if I'm wrong, fellas, this is something uniquely that I think that we could all get behind, which is when you wear a suit, even if it's one of those, I'm a footy rapist going to court in my Sunday blues, uh, you know, that I'm just like, well, it's a Melbourne cap, you know, you've got to look classy for that. Anything like that. Doesn't matter what it is. As long as you have a tie on, you get way more female attention. Have you ever stopped to think about that? If you're a suit, you probably haven't once in your entire life, have you? Because, I don't know, you just when you're uh, exercising at the gym, you're probably wearing a suit. But for the average schmo like me, your working class tread on, the one that builds your fucking skyscrapers that you're in. No, nah, but in all seriousness, I don't do anything. And if, if you do this channel, make sure that you like and subscribe. Because we come up with incredible insights such as... It's because it's high status. It doesn't matter what... Like, if a high status was walking around wearing togas, and I wish it was because it'd just be so freeing down there. You would get way more female attention for that. It is just whatever is societally perceived as high status immediately. And there are experiments on this. You can hold the same sign being like, me sick, me want house, please give me money for homeless shelter, Mr. Kearns. You'll be getting over double what the guy just standing around in normal clothes will be wearing, wearing the exact same sign. And the only thing that's happening is that your shoes are a little more shiny. Isn't that incredible? Even when you're asking for charity, people will give you more if you're wearing a suit. They think you're smarter, they think you're stronger, they think you're more handsome, they think you have a better body underneath the suit, and then when somebody else is wearing a jumper, they're like, it's fat. All of these things immediately in your head, when you see that person, it shifts in their mind. Now, here's the thing that's extremely trippy when it comes to women. Apparently, in their minds, like when it comes to men, just let me know, like, ladies, let me give you a little trip down a guy's head, right? They're kind of just like, I'm an us man, and you've got to mad us. Can I go in the dead? That's it. That's all they care about. And then, like, that doesn't really change until, you know, you've been pounding for, like, six years, and then you're just like, I want some new ass. And that's pretty much it. When it comes to women, apparently it's kind of just like, you know, you're this ever-morphing figure, like one of those psychiatrist blobs, where there's just a million interpretations of you. And so when you are wearing a suit, Regardless of whether you're pudgy or not, you instantly become more attractive because you have more status, which is evolutionarily what women are attracted to. Now, there are going to be those freak ones out there like some goths, and they will be responding just be like, how did he know? Who are they going to be attracted to? Whoever's big at the goth scene. I don't know, is still Marilyn Manson still alive? Slash, was he ever alive in the first place or was he a zombie? That guy, he's going to be... The creme de la creme of that society, and it's not just because he is going to be on stage, although that's a massive portion of it. It's kind of just because he's king of the goths. I don't know what he is. Just king of scary freaks with, I'm assuming, a bunch of dumpy women being like, he understands how dark I feel in my soul, but if you actually listen to what he's saying, it's actually quite lame and cringy. But <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it works for them. In every environment that you're in, there is always going to be a certain dress code that, like, you know, the, the, the high-status individuals will be wearing it. Even if you are, like, in the hippie area, it'll just be like, oh, his dreadlocks are longer. There's going to be all those little subcultures. Generally, on a societal level, though, we've decided that wearing a suit makes you more attractive. And why not? It does actually make you look way more boss, doesn't it? So, 
That's what you've got to go for in life, guys. That's all I'm saying in this one. Wear a suit. No, no, no. I'm also saying one other thing. Don't click off, please. There's another point that I have to point to this, which is that's what's happening there. It's not necessarily like the style. Like women aren't necessarily attracted to stylish men. In fact, I know that firsthand. Dude, I used to be a male model. So I used to get all these clothes from a bunch of homosexuals being like, you look good in this, honey. And then I just walk around. And you know what all women would just say? They'd just be like, I thought you were gay. And they still do. In the comments right now, they'll probably just be like, that kind of straight. But anyway, that's what was happening there. Yeah. Uh, neckbeard homosexual Jordan walking down the street. And so, I don't know. I, I guess I just got hit on by a bunch of gay dudes. And now that I think back at it, what I was wearing, it was just like, it was always like, why are gay so attracted to me? Well, it was because of that. But also, that is because it's kind of just like a quick cheat code to just like, in this subculture, you're killing it. That's all that's happening there. There's just like a quick way of, I suppose, getting a boob job for like a guy is just wearing a suit. But there is something that overcompensates for even that. And there will be something that, you know, like after that little look in happens. And in fact, the, their entire demeanor changes. It's just, it is very obvious from somebody who just never wears suits ever. And then all of a sudden I had to start wearing suits. And then all of a sudden you had like, I don't know, just, just women approaching you. That is so weird. Like, dude, I am a celebrity. I don't usually get women approaching me. Except for, like, obviously in gigs, because, again, the same thing's happening there, right? But, like, if they're on the street or whatever, and they come up, they're kind of just like, can I get a photo? Yeah, and then they just leave, right? Like, but it's it, it was a very different, like, what are you doing afterwards when you were wearing the suit? It is an incredible cheat code, and I'm extremely jealous of all the corporates in life. It really looks like you chose the right thing in life, especially ethically, right? Yeah, if you're working for a bank, you made the right choice in every way. You're happy? You're fucking happy. And, um, yeah, so that's... But, but like, yeah, sorry. The, the crux of that point is there is something that will override all of that. And think about this. Imagine if you went to a corporate meeting in slacks and a shirt. What does that symbolize? Even higher status. In the land of the suits, he who is casual must be doing really well in life. And I know that firsthand again when I used to date my girlfriend. She used to be aghast by it. And I actually used to do it because I knew that that was a little cheat code in life. I knew that there are just little status symbols in society that when you walk in, you get like a different response. And if you walk into that environment, if you walk into a suit environment in casual slacks, all of a sudden people think you're one of those like, uh, you know, like Silicon Valley millionaires. But there is something that is even bigger than that. And that's something, that, that's what pickup is always about. Yeah, like the whole peacocking thing is just walking into an environment where it is not usually seen as acceptable to be walking in with one of those hobo flapping top hats, <laughs> walking in with your little uh, disco 70s overalls without a shirt underneath it, being like, <laughs> with sunglasses, right? Usually, people would think you're nuts. But because you're walking into a club like that with, and here's the thing that sells all of these things, because this is what happens. What happens when you get one piece of female attractive attention? Guys, quickly, what happens when you get one piece of positive female attention? You just turn into one of the Bee Gees, don't you? You're that confident that you could just sing with a high-pitched female voice and still think that you're a sex object, and it still works! That's what's happening in your head when you get like any positive feedback ever in anything, even if it's a compliment, if it's just people laughing at you on stage, if it's just like a, well, hello there. Any of that stuff is always going to build up your confidence. And then what happens? After your confidence gets built, success, and you need to write this down as well, success begats success. The hungry don't get fed. The more confident you get, the more confident you get. You are on that spiral for the rest of the night. Here's the key point. You can start that without these symbol indicators. They are little cheat codes for sure, but it is better to go cold turkey with all of this stuff always and just kind of rough it out for a few years and get core confidence. What's core confidence? Core confidence is whatever situation you are in, 
you know that it is going to be all right. That's confidence right there. Confidence is knowing that whatever situation you're in, you know how there's always just this ethereal thing of just like, you just have to be confident, but no one ever knows what confidence is. Confidence is the idea that everything is going to be okay. You can fuck up, you can say something stupid, you can say something embarrassing, and everything is going to work out. That's it. That is all you have to know, that like, you're not gonna die. And then that's how you build confidence from there. Always. Every time you are ever in a situation where you start to feel yourself being like, and, and, and crouching in on itself, that's always like the bodily symbol that you should always be looking for that you are not confident. What are confident people? Spread out, relaxed. Why are they relaxed? Because they feel safe. At the core of confidence is that feeling of safety. There is a feeling of safety and people are attracted to that. People are attracted to confident people because people at the end of the day, especially when they're meeting strangers, want a sense of safety. They're going to be repelled by people that they're scared of or that they can't get any value from. But what is very valuable, especially in a situation where you're around a bunch of strangers, just get this through your head. If you feel safe, the people around you are going to feel safe. They're going to feel secure. And then from there, everybody's confidence builds up. That's what you're trying to go for right there. That's the core feeling. Everything in this situation is going to turn out all right. From there, it doesn't matter what you do because then you can say the stupidest things on earth, it's going to work in your favor. It's just going to work. You've noticed this before, right? Like you've been in a situation where somebody just keeps blabbing their mouth. They keep saying stupid things. Everyone starts laughing. Uh, and then that person, despite the fact that they're an idiot, they just become the toast of the town. And it is because they have that feeling, and usually because they're kind of stupid. Usually, like, smart people always think, like, what about it, this? What about it? They're just always strategizing inside their head. But confident people don't really strategize inside their head. They just say what is ever coming out of their mouth. <laughs> they don't, like, Bleh! they don't put a door on it. They just allow it to move out. That's what we're talking about there. That's how you get confidence. Confidence also comes from experience, obviously, because, again, now you have reference experiences to know, oh, the worst. That's really what they're talking about when they're talking about experience. A lot of the time, it's kind of just like, well, I'm not going to do that again but you are in a position to just keep moving on with it. That's what's exciting about it. You don't need a suit. You don't need to wear slacks if you are in an environment of suit, although these things do definitely help. But what you definitely do need to develop in life is the feeling, and you need to write this down, that everything is going to work out. Anyway, make sure that you sign up to Jordan Shanks because I've got more of those reminders for you. Not even just reminders, lessons that you've never heard. Lessons that will blow your mind, that will transform your life. They will though. I know that it always sounds kind of corny when I'm saying this, but I truly believe in the transformational power of self-help. So make sure that you sign up to that and then you get an extra video or two a week depending on how cheap you are. And those videos, just it's like tiny cup of coffee kind of stuff. You know, like less than a cup of coffee. I'm going to be giving you things that you will never learn in the most prestigious universities on earth. There will be eggheads and nerds that will be less successful than you because they don't know these basic principles of how success begets success. And what those little combinations are, like that right there, just the fact that you're, I'm able to break down for you what confidence is and you're able to follow that blueprint for the rest of your life. That is a massive cheat code if you work on it. Massive cheat code that most people don't know. Most people just have this vague idea of just like, oh yeah, you've got to be confident in life and then forget about it because they're not having it drilled in their head all the time like you will at Jordan Shanks. Make sure you sign up to that. Don't be cheap. See you next time. Come to see my live show.